<laughs> Welcome to Heat Wave. It's the video game podcast that's 96% bullshit. <laughs> I, I don't think we can make that claim because I don't. Well, like, I, mean, I that's think we very need. I think we need the FDA, FDA to approve like, well, the content. We're, we're starting. The, I'm gonna say trials FDA. are starting tomorrow. <laughs> clinical trials are yeah. perfect. Yeah. I'm sure we could slip some government official, an old Here's Abraham, yep. <laughs> an old <laughs> Abraham. This will yeah. cover it, right? <laughs> an old fiver. No, wait a minute. An are you talking fiber. about? Are you talking about a five dollar bill or a penny? Either, either one. I mean, yeah. why, not, why not both? Why not both? Start, start, start with the penny. <laughs> start with the penny. Scale up to the five. If he looks at you funny, and just be like, keep, <laughs> keep the change. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, but yeah, heat wave. Uh, welcome to our show. It's our fifth episode. I can't believe we made it this unless far. we release it out of order. I mean, we <laughs> we could do that. Just to be act- chaotic evil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we should release this last. You should just yeah, layer them all weird every single time. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. I'm actually just never going to release this episode. And yeah. then 10 years from now, when we are we hit our 400th done, episode. Here's the fifth episode that we never released. <laughs> Ooh, what you say? Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, let's get to it. Jairus, what do you want to talk about today? Wait, I'm Brittany Saturn. I'm Jairus. I'm Hutch. <laughs> That's Brian. <laughs> We're, Welcome to the show. Jairus, tell me what we're going to talk about we're today. We're good at this. <laughs> um, congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to th- right Smash there. like. <laughs> That right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just going to be that. Damn on that bill. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. on that bill. Beep. Fuck well, well, I forgot. Um, which, what was it? Which, which, game ah, which IP would you like to start a cult based on? Or join? Video game IP. No, game or IP. It could be oh. any IP. Don't fucking reframe my questions. Well, I didn't. The only reason why I, uh, that was like the video game topic for that's, this episode. That's why in this sheet I put game slash IP. <laughs> well, that meant to me video game IP. We're having technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> I misread it. Culture. Team, team, team okay, meeting, well, everyone. I have an answer for okay. that, and it's game related. Um, Great. Animal Crossing would be the perfect cult because okay. you just Who get... would the deity be? Uh, uh, Isabel. Tom Nook. Tom Nook. No, no, Tom no. Nook Tom is Nook. The, it's all about okay, hustling. I see. Tom Nook, Tom is, the Nook devil. is the cult leader. No. Mm. Okay. And Isabel is the deity, I guess. But mm. Tom Nook definitely is the one who you wander into this like cool forest or field or whatever. And he's like, "Hey, come and like live in this tent. No problem. You also just, give me acorns. Yeah, you can pay me back at any any time." And he like wel- welcomes you in open arms and makes you feel loved and comforted. And then right when you're in his his grasp, he's like, "Okay, now you owe me like a shit ton of money, and you're forever in debt to me." Mm. But I could see like a little like commune of animal crossing people just out in the field with like shovels and nets just catching bugs and stuff well it's like the easiest cult right because yeah. you're basically living your life except you're in fursuits exactly exactly <laughs> exactly there's a whole not- okay, know. There's a whole not- are you telling me <laughs> to me that sounds awful because i yeah. sweat a lot and it would just be damp inside it, it is like all well, have you met that- a furry damp me all up that inside. way <laughs> can't dry off (laughs) (laughs) if you think about it though with regards to our organs we're all damp on the inside that's That's true true. my wets (laughs) my wets (laughs) okay i'm gonna say uh zelda i think zelda would be a really weird cult here's why okay so describe this cult let's imagine you're having a normal day you're out there you're doing your job maybe you're maybe you're a farmer okay and then this fucking monster attacks giant fucking monsters nothing you can do about it is this related to the cult or is this unrelated this is, to the cult this is exactly related so to so the cult, the cult involves you, you someone are... being assigned as the monster and going and attacking a farmer <laughs> no okay no, no just uh, you know basically there's nothing you can do and then this fucking Yuck. twink ass boy shows up and he's just garbed out with all this shit, and you're like, what the fuck is he gonna do? And then he just fucking yeets and destroys everything, kills the monster, saves the day, and then just goes through the whole fucking town destroying all the pots. 
It's just every pot. How is that a cult? Exactly. Here's how it's a cult. <laughs> <laughs> this happens every 100 years. Every 100 years. And they just start talking about it, mythicizing it. And just like one day. That's folklore. That's it's not a cult. Like, how do you worship Link? How do you not worship Link? Okay, fair. How do you have you seen that? Ass? He's got a boomerang, <laughs> and he knows how to not hit himself in the so, face. So, well, it. just uh, years later, some old woman who witnessed this a long time ago is just telling these uh, telling uh, this this story of how the twink came to town and saved the day, and these two young kids are just there putting pots behind around a statue of Link, right? And then one day, another monster shows up. And this fucking other fucking green ass boy just shows up and just starts yeah at everybody and just destroying pots and killing stuff. Green and then the grand and the grandmother just starts crying tears. She just saw God. That's how you start a cult. So is, is the <laughs> is the like so what are the logistics? I'd like to explore the logistics of this cult. So uh -huh. you have one. I'm hearing the emotional level here of this cult. That's no, no, no. Right no. I understand. I'm trying to think of the logistics of okay, it. Okay, okay. So <clears throat> do we have one commune that is just ge genetically engineering tiny green forest boys I, to yacht? I, I kind of I hope so. Okay. I kind of hope. That's and then we how... have another one just making pig wizards? Yeah. Mm. Whoa. Yeah. Don't talk about the pig wizard. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I really think that if anything, the lore of Zelda would would create a Link cult. I was thinking, yeah, maybe, but you got to get like some money out of it or something. Right, well, yeah, your right. power. Well, I was think thinking, pots are with? I've listened what to do you a think lot. The pots are filled with. I've listened to a <laughs> lot of documentaries and podcasts about cults. Yeah, I think I know my. It's cults. about the robes. <laughs> it's about the matching uniforms. It's about the shoes. It's okay, about it's green pin, tunics. It's You've about already got that set. Vulnerable people. Yeah, <laughs> pots. <laughs> I think I think Britney's might be a, a, a more effective cult. Maybe. Clutcherson? Yeah. What do you think? I kind of like the idea of doing a Splatoon cult. Okay. Yeah. Around, around, so it'd be around uh, whatever idol performer would be at the time. Because, oh, okay. Because oh, yeah. Everyone's having fun. That's already right? pretty cultish. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You already you got your, your hopping music, you're dancing, you're having a good time, and then... You got your 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 fun aspect. Like they don't nobody works in that. Oh, so you universe. want like a really fun cult? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You just want like <laughs> a wanna... chill, casual, paint based cult. Exactly. Which is really funny. That kind of goes back to Britney's Animal Crossing cult because the most recent uh, idol uh, concert they did with Splatoon started with KK Slider. What? I don't know if you saw. Yeah, that. yeah. There's no. a holographic oh, yeah, KK. Right. Slider. Wait, yeah, wait. Is KK yeah. Slider in the Splatooniverse? Yes, well, yeah, it is apparently. now. Yeah, well, apparently he knows of them because he sang their songs. Oh. There are weird implications of that be of that being a shared universe. Like, is is KK Slider a guitarist unfrozen in time who can move to the distant future where we become squid people with a paint based economy? I mean, um, I don't I feel like be. it's that far off from Splatoon universe anyway <clears throat> because you already have people living with animals mm. and then the whole splatoon are you a kid or are you a squid so well they're also splatoon if you play this splatoon 2 dlc you realize that this is actually post post apocalyptic mm -hmm. earth mm -hmm. yeah i mean like that's that i so, noticed that like, the so first that, time so i the, played that game so the frozen yeah. like kk has a lot of merit there i mean yeah. i mean the cat big judd is like a cryogenically frozen like cat yeah oh, really? why he exists. yeah yeah <laughs> There's, yeah. there's a lot Big of fun Judd. Dark Lord Splatoon. Wow, Splatoon is... gets fucked. KK, I never played any of the DLC, so... You really need to play the single that. player for Splatoon. KK too. Slider is like a, a Time Lord space wizard, but with the I power I don't think frog. he's that cool. No. I think he's more of like a college kid with a guitar that just wants some ass. Oh, he's, mm. he's the guy in the he's corner like, at the every party. Anyway, here's some guitar. Wonderwall. <laughs> no, he's, he's Bill and Ted. Yes, He's, he's trying to create peace. Oh my god, yeah, oh, now I can see that. But he'd have to create the perfect song. Right. I.E. K.K. Cruising. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Boing. <laughs> I want to also mention that it would be very much centered around fashion. 
Oh yeah, Spl- oh, fashion, yeah fashion is a big thing about Splatoon. That would be like the Look different levels. Oh, how... that's how you monetize the cult. <laughs> yes, yeah. hat downloads. And it's like the cult leader would have the best fashion, and then like whatever the next level would be, and then like the well, peasants at the bottom. Only, only this brand for this. This group. who's the well, freshest? No, that really already <laughs> is the case in the game because like uh, it, with Callie and Marie, they had that like unicron like that fashion that matched each other and then they kind of split off and then the new idols of pearl and marina came and they had very drastically different fashions from each other mm. so i can see that ryan's deep in this splatoon <laughs> I fucking love Splatoon. i've played like 20 minutes of splatoon <laughs> <laughs> but both of you hot dog queens over here yeah. are just <laughs> like me i'm a mayo queen oh sorry sorry i was also a hot dog queen um hmm Oh yeah, no. Yeah, Jerry, tell us about yours. What about you? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually think about it. That much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, things like things like World of Warcraft are already a cult yeah, to like yeah, some yeah, degree. Yeah. Um, I do now. Like... I'm just looking at your wall to see which amiibo. Okay. Um, Pokemon would be pretty easy. Pokemon would be pretty good. Um, I do like so far that. Uh, the three of us have done all Nintendo IP so yeah. far. That's because Nintendo knows what they're doing. That's true. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I think Jim Tendo does a really good job creating <laughs> cultable things. Well, if you can't come up with an option, I think an interesting conversation at that point would be is why are most of all Nintendo IPs yeah, good enough for a cult? Let's explore that. I think, I think it's that they have, um, humanity at their core and the, <laughs> the, understanding that people are exhausted and stressed and frustrated which is kind of like a core tenet yeah. of the cult you it's know like here's a form of escapism <laughs> like maybe you're having a really shitty time at work right. or with your personal life so come play these games to make yourself feel better yeah you well, know it's not it, like it's not your fault that everything sucks it's t- just that tom nook wants a bunch of bells yeah well just think about mario mario started with him as a popeye knockoff yeah and then it just turned into this insane lore about mushroom places. Yeah. And like, I don't know what to, how to apply that, but there's gotta be <laughs> I, some like, I think that's, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, like the, the thing that's always wild to me about Mario is that they didn't have to fucking make him a plumber. They're just like, <laughs> I guess he's a plumber or whatever. Yeah. Because yeah, of the he started as a carpenter. Yeah. He started as a carpenter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then, like, they were like, oh, we're going to make him and his Carpenters brother. Carpenters don't break blocks with their forehead. Right. <laughs> so, I guess plumbers is in. because. Well, that's just because the second game, they had him going through pipes. Yeah. And that's why he's a plumber. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Makes Which sense. is actually a legitly great game. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much pipe crawling plumbers actually do. <laughs> I, I can't I imagine a lot. I would say probably not that much. They have cameras for that now. Yeah. Yeah. They have yeah. cameras. <laughs> <laughs> they have Mario sized cameras. Um no, I mean it it is interesting that uh Nintendo kinda has this shit on lockdown. Yeah. That but I think it's just Nintendo never tries to make like an aggressively like edgy or like grim dark, mm-hmm. gritty. It's so real. Um, and I think in some cases that makes for better escapism yeah, than for sure. just oh, S- yeah. Shigeru Miyamoto wouldn't allow it. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, he doesn't give a shit about. <laughs> we must story. be wholesome. <laughs> so they have to do st- all of their story based in the world building. Yeah, yeah. And they got to make some weird ass worlds for us to like be excited to go into. So I can kind of see that. And also, I feel like a lot of the Nintendo stuff is just bright and cheery and colorful. You know, yeah. like even. Splatoon, which is a little bit more grittier, it still has all the bright ass paint colors. Yeah, it's kind of what drew me into that game, anyway. So mm. I don't know. I think that has some sort of weird aspect to it. It's kind of like a safe bubble, like uh, is this space like in the a way. all brand new Nikes and drinking Kool Aid? How how that's the only real <laughs> cult that I'm familiar with. Yeah, yeah. How does that apply to like the colors and the brightness of Nintendo? Well, it's it's pleasing to the eye. It's trying to it's, it has it's providing. Yeah, it's exactly. It's soft and it makes you feel good. It has a design language. Okay, because like Ooh, from nice. what mm. from what I've learned for for how cults are started, Doctor Cults over here. Uh, they don't ever they're never presented as like, hey, come join this cult because everyone's going to be afraid of it. It's designed as like, hey, are you feeling kind of weird in your life? You are you in a slump? Are you unhappy? Come to this workshop. We're just going to talk about how to make you feel better, and it just it becomes a community. thing. 
thing too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you saying um, video games are cults? They might yes, be. Yes, they yeah. are. I mean, like it, it's very much a community thing too because people who are lonely and they have a sense of purpose and they right. have a sense of like like I have a family now. Yeah. And that's kind of like what video games are. Anyway, Brian's yeah. like really scared right now. He's like, no, um, that's, we just I, that was <laughs> that was done? the joke. <laughs> that was why I made the joke about uh, World of Warcraft. Is okay, like, yeah, that, no, no, it was. was. I remember um, having to pull the plug on one of my friends yeah. to get him back in the real world. And and you start, and then these people come to these gatherings. They start feeling really good, and then the mm-hmm. the leader starts asking more and more of the people, and it's very slow, and you don't notice it. Yeah, oh boy, and then it gets, familiar. and then it gets kind of bad, and then you're so DLC. far, you're so far into it that you either you don't know how to get out or you're just incapable because you're trapped and you and also feel you like, don't have a support structure other yeah, than that other group. than the group that you're already in and um it's just these slow steps that you can take to right. control people you just described my entire like process of like getting charity events to happen Thank yeah you. yeah <laughs> and it's not to say it's not to say that these steps are like if they're used in a way that could be positive yeah, but it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. when you are like hey i want you to not talk to your family anymore i want you to move out to the middle of nowhere <laughs> and give me all your money and do everything i say and you can't leave that's what it's bad <laughs> right well it's it's um when it takes the turn into like self-destructive okay or or destructive to the well, that's a question culture or, or society so all of our uh things i would say have been Remarkably positive. Hers is led by Tom fucking Nook, yeah. and Tom Nook is always going to take an evil turn. <laughs> okay, I can see that. Um, I don't see. Well, I guess me and you might be in the other end there. We're just really cool groups. I'm not really sure if there's well, cults yet. That's that's the thing though, is that like you take a cult, mm-hmm. like a cult emerges <clears throat> out of a nice, cool, fun group. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm learning a lot today. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I have a side question: Are the tunnel snakes a cult? No, they're a gang. Gangs are different than cults. Yeah. They yeah. don't have a shared ideology. They mm. just have cool jackets. Yeah. <laughs> and um, cool chants. I just want to know where the embroidery machine is inside of that fucking vault. I think it's just spray paint. Uh, okay. Either that yeah. or they're doing it by hand. Mm, I mean, yeah. you don't have anything else to do in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. take on as many skills as you can. Yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong. They might be doing yourself. it by hand. They're like grandmothers who are like, I'll get little... Timmy's jacket done for his birthday. He wants a snake on it. He he's one of them tunnel snacks. <laughs> Grandma, snack. you sewed it wrong. Ugh. Well, tunnel snakes rule. <laughs> yes, they do. And dogs drool. All right. Well, that was a hell of a segment. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back. We're bye. We're bye. We We're bye. bye. I'm actually pansexual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sapiosexual. Okay.